I really didn't want to make this video. Um, if you're a fan of DJing and like DJ podcasts in particular, uh, I'm sure you're aware of who DJ Neva was. Um, I worked with the Road Podcast in the early days, uh, and I spent many, many, many hours with Neva along with the rest of the Road Podcast crew. Um, Neva was always friendly and welcoming and a lover of music. He's quite possibly the most knowledgeable person in music that I've ever met in my life. He could remember the years albums were released. Uh, just, he was a plethora of musical knowledge. And that love for music really showed in the way that he DJed and the amount of passion he had for DJing. Uh, as I'm recording this, the Road podcast, along with Neva's family and friends, have informed the world that last Sunday, Neva passed away. I'm not good with death. Um, I've lost a lot of people this year, uh, people that I cared about, friends, family, and coworkers, some really good people. N now losing someone that was not only who I would consider a friend, but also such a valuable member of the DJ community, not only just for his DJing, but for his contributions with the Road Podcast and what they've done to give a platform for DJs. I was, like I mentioned, I was lucky enough to be a part of that, and it gave me the opportunity to get to know Nev. Because before that, just living in the city, I, I might have ran into him and said what's up a few times, but I, I didn't get to know him in depth like I did after working with him. Um, I, I don't really know what else to say. I'm still kind of processing it. Um, but I, I, I guess I'll share a couple of my favorite DJ Neva stories. The first would be one of the first times I played at a, a club on the Las Vegas Strip on the record. Uh, if you've ever been on the record, it consists of uh, three different rooms. And uh, the room I was playing is called the bus, where they actually have a double-decker bus, like one of those British buses, in the back in the patio, and the DJ booths in the bus. Uh, that room is usually like reserved for more like old school stuff and not like the current, current stuff, but I don't mind because I love playing that. And uh, I know Neva enjoyed that music a lot too. So I was playing, had the dance floor going, just popping. And I, I, you know, I was just in the groove, in the flow state. And I see Neva walk into the DJ booth, go into the bus. Um, one joke, ongoing joke on the Road podcast was that Neva would be the type to, you know, get into the DJ booth and just kind of stand behind you and just like watch what you're doing DJing, kind of still in face, not, not, not too much um, emotion, and not really say nothing, you know, not really get too excited. Um, <laughs> a very New York reaction, if you, if you know any New Yorkers. Um, so I see Nev walk into the bus. He's standing kind of behind me, but to the side, so I can see him out of my peripheral. You know, I'm going through my set. Crowd's loving it. 
I see him kind of nodding his head a little bit, but still like that really like solemn stone face that uh, was described on the podcast multiple times. Um, and this is after me and me and uh, Nev have known each other for a little bit and I've been working with a pod. Um, then I get done with my set, I hop off, he's still there. So one of the first things I do is I turn, you know, I say what's up to him, give him that, kind of hug him and just like smiling, joking, because I, I think he knew it was coming. I was like, so how'd I do, Nev? He just kind of gives me a small smile and just says, you did all right. <laughs> and if you knew Nev, I, him saying all right is more than just all right. There's a cosign. And I think at that point, because I don't think Nev really heard me DJ like that that often. And there was a, I think the, a, a higher level of respect for like my DJing after that because he got to see it in person and he saw it that you're like, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. And I never forgot that. That's just burned into my memory. And that's because Neva was one of the earliest uh, open format DJs here on, in Las Vegas when the big mega clubs were starting to pop up. He was one of the first from out of Vegas to make the move out here. And he held it down for decades. And man, just seeing a New York DJ play, especially coming from LA, the mic work, the song selection, the knowing where to drop it right on time. Like Neva was on top of his game. And there's, there's a certain way that DJs from New York in that era play. It, and it um, might just be just my, my taste, but there's something magic about it. If they're doing it well, there's definitely like, there's a reason they can carry big rooms well. It's because they know how to carry energy, they know how to create moments. And watching Neva DJ, along with Crooked, of course, who's just a murderer from New York as well, just kills it. Really made me want to step up my DJing in those aspects. And when I think of Nev, and I think of how long he was doing it, like I said, decades, I'm, I'm so happy that, you know, there was the, there's the Road podcast because it gave a platform for people that maybe didn't get to see him in New York or in Vegas or wherever he traveled, because he did travel. But... He got his flowers from a lot, of, lot more people that maybe he wouldn't have been able to get if it wasn't for the podcast, and he deserved each and every one of them. Especially for how welcoming and humble and nice Neva was. For someone doing it for that long in this industry, that's a feat in itself. And to carry yourself that way and just welcome new people in, you don't find that every day. And that's another thing to keep in mind too, like if you're just starting out, if you're in the middle of your career or you know, you're a veteran, Never lose that sense of humbleness, that wanting to be welcoming to other people in the industry, other newer DJs, because it's important. Just like the fact that I'll never forget that moment when Nev got to see me really rock a Vegas club for the first time. Because he was so welcoming, and because I knew how much of a vet he was, it meant so much more to me 
when I got, you know, the approval of the OG. And sorry, I, I'm, I don't know where to go with this. I think that um, at the end of the day, just like any, any, other, any other thing, right? They say the, the two things in life that are for certain are death and taxes. I know we're all gonna pass away at some point, but this one hurts for me personally and for anyone that knew Nev. And I think that you, you really need to keep in mind that you never know when your time is. And you never know, more importantly, you never know when your loved one's times are. So, if not for me, for Nev, take the time out today. Take the time out every week to check in on all the people that you love in your life and let them know that you love them. I, I literally just spoke to Neva, saw him in person, gave him a quick hug because I hadn't seen him in a while, a few weeks ago. Booked him to play one of my events later this month, and now he's not here. So if you, if you get the chance, check in on your loved ones, man. Tell them how much they mean to you. Because you never know if you're not going to get the chance to do it. So do it now. One more thing before I get out of here. Uh, there's a GoFundMe going on for Neva and his family to take care of uh, all of the expenses. Um, Neva did live here in Vegas, but um, his family and his loved ones would love to have him buried uh, back in New York, in the Bronx, with his family, where he's from. Um, so if you can, please help out, donate. The link will be in the description down below. God bless. Have a good day.